holding the office of Chancellor of the University of Ghana, Legon. Holding the office of Chancellor of the University of Ghana, Legon. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. That I will not directly or indirectly. That I will not directly or indirectly. Communicate or reveal to any person communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be brought under my consideration any matter which shall be brought under my consideration or shall come to my knowledge or shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my official duties in the discharge of my official duties as, except as may be required except as may be required for the discharge of my official duties for the discharge of my official duties. Or as may be specially permitted by law. Or may be specially permitted by law. So help me God. So help me God. position just conferred on me is one I humbly accept, cherishing more the associated responsibilities than any inherent privileges. But I insist that the chancellor should not be just a ceremonial face, but also an unseen lead advocate. I promise not to simply make myself available for ceremonial events and handshakes at graduation. Like my predecessors have done, I promise to put all the skills I've honed from the School of Life and the extensive net network I've developed in the process at the disposal of the University of Ghana. I am very glad to be here this afternoon at the investiture ceremony of an outstanding Ghanaian who has become the Chancellor of Ghana's premier university, my alma mater, the University of Ghana, Lagos. <laughs> Offspring of one of the prominent figures of the United Gold Coast Convention, the First Nationalist Party, UGCC of blessed memory, the eminent jurist, the late R.S. Blay, 
She is one of the first female alumna of the university. Mrs. Mary Chinri Hesse is taking over as chancellor from one of Ghana's most illustrious sons, the former Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Kofi Annan, under whose stewardship the university has attained the rank of the best in West Africa. I thank Mr. Kofi Annan, who served the two terms of his mandate, for his invaluable service to the nation. It is not every day that one picks up the mantle of leadership from such as Mr. Kofi Annan. So, Madam Chancellor, I'm sure that you know that you have your work cut out for you. Nonetheless, I believe the university could not have picked a worthier successor than you. Your wealth of experience, Chief Director of the Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning, Under Secretary General of the United Nations, member of the Governing Council of the University, advisor to the Second President of the Fourth Republic, His Excellency John Ajikum Kufour, should ensure a seamless transition and put you in good stead to help spur on the university onto even greater heights. I commend the authorities of this university for the excellent choice of this distinguished person, one who is also happily a firm believer in academic freedom. As the first female chancellor of any Ghanaian public university, Mrs. Chinri Hesse blazes again a trail for other women to follow. And moreover, I am sure the university will definitely feel the added benefit of that special quality that a woman can bring to leadership. One of the most important immediate challenges which will confront this university and others will be the dramatically increased population of students who will be seeking admission in some two years as a result of the free senior high school policy. I urge you, Madam Chancellor, and all heads of our tertiary institutions to begin making adequate preparations towards this and future years. The free senior high school policy will be a permanent feature of our educational architecture. We cannot be caught off guard. And as the saying goes, and I quote, the best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today, unquote. Chancellor, Chairperson and members of faculty of the council, the vice chancellor, pro vice chancellors, and members of faculty, students, ladies and gentlemen, I assure you of government's steadfast commitment and continued support to the University of Ghana and indeed to all other universities in the country. It is my expectation and hope that Legon will continue to produce graduates who are molded to take on the opportunities and possibilities for higher achievement through innovation and creativity in today's science and technology-led, knowledge-driven global economy, and who will thereby help generate prosperity for the mass of our people in our time. I pray the University of Ghana has a very happy 70th anniversary celebration. And long may it continue to proceed in truth and integrity to make our nation proud. And as on the occasion of any anniversary, let us remember too 
those who have gone before, especially those who fought so valiantly for the establishment of this now re re renowned institution of learning, such as that incomparable Ghanaian of destiny, the great scholar, statesman and apostle of freedom, Joseph Wachidankwa, whose mighty efforts led the way to make it all possible. I would want, in concluding this brief intervention at this most auspicious of proceedings, to share with you, especially with the young people on this campus, and indeed young people generally everywhere in Ghana, one fundamental belief that shapes everything I do, and that is that we have it in us to be the best generation, the generation that fulfills the dreams of the great patriots who brought our nation independence, the generation whose work will give full meaning to the words of our country's motto, freedom and justice, the generation that will build a new Ghanaian civilization, the equal of any on the face of the planet. Let us be up and doing. Greatness beckons. Once again, Chancellor, warm congratulations. And I wish you the very best of luck and God's guidance in the discharge of your large responsibilities. Enjoy every bit of this moment. You deserve it and have earned it a hundredfold. May God bless Mary Chinri Hesse and us all. And may God bless our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention.